guys, this is Nicole Kimberly. How are you? Hope you're having a good day at eatplantsforlife.com. I wanted to take a minute to give you a quick tip. Um, if you are a vegan or a vegetarian newbie, and actually this tip works for anybody who just wants to eat healthy. So let's go into my kitchen. My daughter is filming and she's bumping into the wall. All right, so here we go. So here is your typical pantry. Hello. I like to keep mine well stocked with beans, grains, because as a vegan, vegetarian, or someone who just wants to eat healthy, these are the kind of things you want to keep stocked in your pantry. However, sometimes I'll buy them in bulk because it's cheaper, and they come in these cute little bags, which is nice because they can be closed. And you can just write down what it is, which I know these are black eyed peas, so I really don't need to write that down. But you can also put like the expiration date, etc. These are great um, because they have the um, resealable. These are resealable, resealable, so you can take what you need out, seal it back up. However, you will come across some instances where like, for instance, these black eyed peas are, were on sale. So I bought them. And if I want to use them, I will take a few out or take like say half a bag out. Then I'll do my little thing here, I'll twist it back up. Sometimes I'll put like a clip on it, but sometimes those fall off. Um, but if I put it back into the cabinet, this usually ends up happening. Maybe get a close up. I'll have peas or beans or say rice. This is another example. This is orzo. It opens up by itself because it doesn't stay sealed or was opened up incorrectly. So what I like to do in order to avoid that is to buy glass mason jars. Yes, you could put them in plastic uh, Ziploc bags, but instead of using the, buying those over and over again, and I like to use these because they are recyclable. You could just keep using them over and over again, and they're cute, and they are very cheap. So that was really nice. So what I usually end up doing is putting all my things in here. Here are all my peas, lentils, I have like brown rice, my couscous, and I'm gonna give you an example. This is what I do. This is my jasmine rice. This is always partially empty because I eat a lot of jasmine rice. I take painter's tape because I really don't like the labeler because once I put a label on, labeling what it is, it's hard to get back off and I'm lazy. So I usually get painter's tape. I'll take a strip or two and I'll get my handy dandy Sharpie and I'll write down what this is, which is Jasmine Rice. And then I'll put the expiration date or you can put the expiration date at the bottom if you don't want it to be visible. And I also like to put the directions because sometimes I forget that two cups of water to one cup of rice, how long to cook it, how much it makes. Two cups. And get your mason jars. They'll last forever. You'll have them for a long time, so you don't have to worry about this type of spillage, which drives. Let's see, OCD crazy. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. See you next time.